Here's a fun mixed media tutorial that's super duper easy thought we would share with you today. Um, so I had an old encyclopedia and I found this image in it. I thought, you know, this would make a great little mixed media piece. So here I am just, uh, I've got a wood panel canvas and I am putting some heavy gel medium onto this. Uh, you can use a decoupage gel. Um, a transfer gel that Fusion makes is really nice too. This one's got a gloss to it. It's um, and it's just a nice heavy gel for sticking, sticking things down and for um, sealing them up. So just apply that base to your wood panel canvas. This will give you a nice firm surface for these kind of paper cutouts um, or ripouts. And then put your piece down. Um, grab yourself a credit card, gift card, and just make sure that you don't have any bubbles. Typically the old kind of books are the ones that have the really um, thicker paper and they go down really nice and you have less bubbling and uh, so yeah look for those when you're at the thrift store or if you have a book that's really old and it's starting to fall apart. Then what I do is I put the heavy gel medium right over top of that image that will seal it in and it will offer some protection against things like UV light and um, it just makes the makes it look more painterly and image just sort of sets in really nice with um, the layer over of the heavy gel medium. Sometimes I like to smooth out my brush strokes and I do that with my fingers. Just gives it um, a few interesting swirls in the uh, medium there. Okay, now you have to let this one dry. Okay, I'm going to jump into some paint. Um, I am picking this Fusion Ikonisha color. It just really looked like it would go nicely with the blue, uh, which was sort of muted in the image there. So I'm going to brush that um, around <clears throat> my paper that is now secured into my wood panel. And of course the gel medium is dry, so that uh, offers protection. And then I'm just kind of smoothing this out with my fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect around here because I'm going to layer up some other stuff. It's going to make this kind of image sink into the board even more and look really great. So I love this color a lot and I will turn around and do like the sides of my panel. If you, if you do get a mark inside your paper, just go ahead and get a piece of paper towel and do what I did, which was kind of push it out. But yeah, I'm going to have to do the sides of this wood panel because that will help finish it off and I have the paint out right now so I will quickly do that. It looks good and now we have to let this layer dry um, one thing that I realized later is I added I wanted a word in here so I went back to my encyclopedia page and found it and cut it out and just gelled it down so this is dry my paints dry everything's dry and now I want to put some glass beads in here so they kind of um, you're you can tint this so you can throw a color in it but I love how they just sort of go clear and sparkly and they offer this different dimension so I'm using this uh, straight up with no tints my favorite way and I'm just giving it um, a little bit here and there now this looks white but it dries clear 
So sporadically put it on your piece wherever you feel it should go. I'm also going to be adding a crackle paste um, medium. So uh, I'm just being mindful of where I want my crackle paste and where I want these, these glass beads. And now we will let this dry. So if you put it on thin, it won't take too long. All right, this glass beads look great. And now I'm using Fusion's Crackle Texture Medium. And I put it in a little side dish and I'm using my palette knife to just sort of drizzle it on and carefully place it around my, cam my canvas here. Um, I'm gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna maybe put it into a little bit of the glass beads and um, then I will let that sit and do its job. And once you have this done, you need to let it dry. Okay, I just love the way that medium uh, crackles. Probably the best one I've used yet. It's just, it's quick and you can go down thin or thick. Um, I'm deciding that I'm going to put a few glass beads on top of the crackle, crackle paste for some uh, just added dimension here. Um, so you can too if you feel it needs that little extra oomph and um, spread it around. And a few more spots if you like. Once you have your last bit of beads in, you need to let it dry again. All right, let's take a look at this cute piece up close. It is adorable and what a great little piece of art for around your home. Um, it's textural, you can touch it, you can give it away as a gift. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you will find our little mixed media art kits in the store on Saturday. Have an artful day.